wanna know, full of self-doubt And to be honest, it has never brought me down No, 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 no I'm really glad I'm not walking around Believing my inflated eight brains figured it out Suddenly you realize that everything you ever told yourself were lies. And believe me, I can sympathize. Cause everything I ever thought I was made me cry. Like... In your big search for who you are And I don't care that I sound arrogant But knowing who you are is just for amateurs And suddenly you realize Yeah, that everything you ever told yourself were lies Hey everybody, welcome to the chat. Thanks for being here. Smash the like button. We will post, or I should say rather, I will post Ray Ray's GoFundMe link if you are looking for that. So positive vibes to Ray Ray. Here is the link. I should also say if you want to join the panel, join now. We don't have really much, excuse me, we don't really have much to talk about, but kind of a lot to talk about in terms of what Foodie Beauty is going to do for the May 2 4 weekend. If you're not aware, it is Victoria Day weekend here in Canada. So we're going to be celebrating with a long weekend. And as I've said multiple times before, this is the unofficial start of the summer. Hi there, one small moose, AJ, Cherry, Laura, Foxy Lady, Tracy, Pam C, Nina Moore, Cinderella, Kim, hey there, Natsuki, Angel M, Valo J, Kenzie. Welcome everybody, Shelly Ray, hi there. Magulator, Cherry Steel Girl, Clarky, 
hello how are you doing so what did i miss in booty beauty's last live stream well not much she wasn't really saying much and she wasn't really doing much just singing and driving then eating paneer she picked it up at a restaurant i guess she doesn't have the monies or the capability to stay inside her house and have it delivered because it's it costs a lot let's just put it that way hey there mary from the six laura c chattel victoria quixie kelly wade april love hey so what do i think is going to happen this weekend well many things she could invite motorcycle guy over if she's real guy is truly interested in her and that's if she cleans she says that she no longer wants to see him originally it was for him to actually come over to her place that's why she was doing the cleaning then it changed to oh she's just gonna see him out in the general public now she's changing her mind she doesn't really want to go through with seeing him she doesn't really want to go through with a lot of things so what is with the change of behavior mood well it's kind of obvious hey shansan granny ray ray maybe she knows that dd is gone that guy looks to have a third leg hey patricia d welcome thanks for being here so once again if you want to join the panel join me i'm soloing here for the moment hey a april how are you doing kelly and uh soon mermaid says he was fake okay tudor times hi there drug dealer maybe um i mean kind of because how she formulated the situation was they met up at the bowling alley bowling center and they left to go somewhere else. He made out with her and he tried to touch her fupa. I mean, sounds very, very familiar. Hey there, Rory. How are you feeling? If you want to join the panel, join right now. A lot of first stories seems to take, you know, the same line, so to speak. Making out with her, having interest, having a lot of things to do with her. Trying to touch her fupa as if it's this wondrous thing. What's that stone? Isn't there a stone? Uh, the Blarney stone, right? Is it the Blarney stone? Yes. She thinks her fupa is the Blarney stone where people will flip upside down and kiss it. <laughs> you guys know about that, right? Hey, Natural Ginger. You're alive. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. I know about the Blarney stone. You're supposed to kiss it. Yeah, and then have the gift of the gob, as it were. Right. In, it uh, seems she's treating her fupa like the Blarney Stone over here. It. I. I think I kissed it actually. You did. But, yeah, I think I've kissed the Blarney Stone. Okay. Surprise, surprise. I was very young at the time. You sort of have to bend over and kiss it. Right. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yes. So the way it is now she is going on a date with motorcycle man the one with the big knob um not weekend. anymore not anymore not anymore yeah so yesterday okay so when she met him like the same night and the next day oh he's coming over i gotta clean then yesterday he changed to we're just gonna meet in public he's not gonna come over anymore now today it's i don't feel like seeing him anymore and I'm sorry for wasting people's time. It's the same angle she always takes with all these guys. Like, yeah, we met. We hit it off. I'm going to see him really soon. We're going to see each other tonight. And then all of a sudden, the guy just disappears into the nether. <laughs> do you think she got signals from him that he wasn't impressed? Or do you think she wasn't impressed? Um, Maybe she did get signals that he wasn't impressed. Maybe he rode off as soon as he saw her maybe he passed out when he got in the car with the whiff maybe he did <laughs> she had smelling salts in hand <laughs> i don't or maybe he because did they kiss i don't know maybe he felt a she hair said went, so oh my god it's a wig there's she nothing wrong so. with wigs by the way but she said that they kissed and he uh, attempted to touch the fupa oh well there you go 
I I actually don't think her heart is in it. And she is wasting Guy's time. Like, there was something about her saying that uh, she talks to guys online when she's feeling lonely and everything, but then she doesn't get back in touch with them. And then when she's feeling lonely, she'll get she'll message them again and they'll say, well, why haven't you messaged me in a while? Right. And exactly. it seems like she is just using them to fill an emotional void within herself and not um, in I don't know whether you can play with people's emotions on Tinder, but like the, she's just been very selfish in the situation. I would say no, because once you start messing around or have any if people get a hint that you're not serious or the quite the opposite that you are serious in certain circumstances because so it depends on what people are looking for in tinder right some people don't want something serious so if they have a hint that you are looking for something serious they're gone but then the flip side is that some people are looking for something serious so if they have a hint that you are not they're gone so i don't see why she makes up these stories as if people will spend all their time trying to go after her. no people have a abundance mindset where if you're not going to give them what they need then they're just gonna go off to somebody else so with the whole nick thing and oh yeah he messaged me again after allegedly supposedly she blocked him for the 50th time it just didn't make any sense mm -hmm. i don't know i've never used tinder I, do, I don't know tinder etiquette in any way but yeah, I suppose you're right. She could make it up, say, you know, oh, they were upset that I hadn't got back in touch. Blah, 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 blah. But I think he's probably not been that keen or too keen and she got frightened off. I don't know. We'll never know, will we? Hi, Perfectly Imperfect. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Not too bad. Good. It's Friday. Yay. <laughs> yeah. It's um, midnight here, so it's Saturday for me. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it was still the weekend, right? <laughs> yeah, it's four minutes into Saturday, so I'm still on the same plane as you. So mm -hmm. what do you think about this then, in perf perfectly imperfect? I think that this is all not true. I think she's an addict. She will do and say anything she wants to get her fix. And her fix right now is Natter. And she wants him. And this is, I mean, I noticed, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, she was talking about how romantic the mo motorcycle guy was. That, we all know, that's what she wants Natter to be. She wants him to be romantic. She wants him, and I think this is all to get Natter. Um, you know, I put something together today. She was talking about the stupid apartment again. And she was like, well, it's not just, it's not for him. It's because I had, there's lots of, I have lots of new friends I've met in Montreal. So what was it like three weeks ago that she brought up the, t the, the Tinder profile, whatever. And she brought that up about three weeks ago and because she had this planned all along and she was, that's why she set the Tinder up. It's not to meet new people. It's her excuse to have this apartment. Um, now she knows she can't like, she now is stuck again. So she can see him legally, but I think she knows she's seen her views go down. The super chats are down. So she knows her audience does not want her with him. So now we're kind of going to go back to the lying and the scheming because she knows she can't see him if she wants to keep her audience happy. So that's my thought. I think you're right. Have you seen the latest community post? No. I think I'm gay. There you go. There you okay. go. Okay. Now has zero understanding of how that works, right? It's like she can't it's turn it on and off because she's been doing the same thing and it's extremely offensive to it, a lot of people. It, well, turning it on and off she like used, that. She used because the TV, she used the SA. Why not use this? I mean, she just will use anything. Right? Well, I was just watching. <clears throat> excuse me. Um oh gosh, I've forgotten his name. No. Uh, Alex is shook. And apparently she called him a Panea fairy on Twitter. And then the latest community post is, I'm just going to check that she says, I think I'm gay. Let me have a look. By the way, if anybody's out there and has not seen Eerie Pepperoni's video, you need to go watch it. What an excellent video. And thank you for doing that video. It was wonderful. It was great, wasn't it? Yeah, 
It really was. So if you haven't seen it, you need to go and see it. Really good. And also, uh, I recommend checking out Mary Cab MCs, where she does the critique of Nada's food. It's hysterical. She's really yes. good. I want to. I haven't seen that yet, but I do want to. Yeah, they're good. Yes, three hours ago, I think I'm gay. Unbelievable. Can you imagine saying that? Her, yeah, I can. But it's just, you just... <sighs> Maybe she's trying to get Dee Dee back now. Get me Dee Dee jealous. <laughs> she's just trying, this is her just trying to drum up. Yeah. Drama, but you just don't... <sighs> what a stupid person. Yeah, she's not... of course. She, yeah, she is not gay. She is not gay, Ashley Sharp. You're right. She is such a knob genitalia. She is. She's a knobberation. But so yeah, so there you go. And she's Mario Beezing or whatever it she does. Play and... Mario Sharp, <laughs> whatever she does. And can we talk about today? What does she have for huge Starbucks again? Um, Nashies again, Taco Bell, and then Paneer, um, where yesterday she has a video called My Last Nashies. I mean, anybody that believes this woman, you, you got to, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Did she go and have Paneer after she'd had the fast food? She did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she did. She drove there, picked it up. Like was, Nate, uh, he looked like she's in that guy's. My she looks God. Naked. You have to watch it because she looks naked. I think. She was wearing some strapless bra, which you couldn't see because of her fat folds. They were like over the the bra. So she and people like her chat was asking her, are you naked? She's like, no, I have on my strapless bra, belly hanging out. That's got to be for views, too. It has to be like, who would do that? I really don't know. I, 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 oh. It's quite astounding, actually. It's quite astounding that she does that i mean i'm shaking my head here you can't see <laughs> <laughs> you shaking my head yeah it, uh, it's it's really crazy to, to just watch this and all i can think of is like how how is she how is she gonna live like i don't like to eat that way at her age and at her already her size well a lot of people in the chat are thinking it's feeders feeders get given the money to do it yeah it's it, pan, paneer is what 50 bucks a shot or something yeah and this is the thing like you know everybody says mental illness see i and and this is my opinion i'm not a doctor i don't know anything how well except my own experience and in my experience you know you look at her when her when she lost her channel i have to, i mean i'll give it to her she worked her butt off she was like working doing I know as, as somebody who, who was depressed at one point in my life, when I, I just couldn't get a bed, like I couldn't do anything. And mm -hmm. just the way she handled that, that the way she handled that was actually pretty good. It's that that's a mentally healthy person. You know, she was doing all these things. She went to Cuba. I'm just not, I, in my opinion, I don't see the mental illness at all. I see a very entitled, spoiled, narcissistic, person who at this point is just doing everything she can to make to make money because she mm -hmm. wants to keep the life that she has and that's the thing when so if she did make twenty thousand one month it's hard when you make that kind of money it's hard to go back and not make that money you know if when you're somebody that is that's why you know when you look at i mean i i took took a class in college in psychology and we looked at like you know people that you know ended you know they're you know i don't want to say it but um a lot of times it's people who had so much and then something was taken away divorce death job something um you know and she just doesn't she the way she handled her channel being taken down i thought was very mentally healthy so i'm not buying the whole I, i'm not buying it and i think the chat is right i think she's got feeders feeding her giving her money um and that's why we're seeing this behavior because she knows yesterday and monty you've said this before as well she's very aware of what she's doing she knows the food she's eating is going to kill her she knows seeing natter is not good for her 
However, she keeps doing it. So that to me is just entitled. She wants what she wants and nobody can tell her different. Well said. Yeah, I agree with you. She's, I don't, oh. yeah, she is. The Amped Chick. Hello, darling. How are you? Hello. Hey. I'm doing good. How about you guys? Not too bad. We're good. It's the weekend. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I do think that she is, um, she's self-aware, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she's not mentally ill. Um, I, I'm not going to diagnose her or anything like that because I'm, I'm not a professional. Um, I just, my personal opinion is I don't think that she is a well woman. And I think that that's obvious in, in the choices she makes. Um, I, I feel like anybody with a sound mind wouldn't do the things that she does. You know what I mean? No, I, and I do. And I, like I said, it, this is just my opinion. I have no, nothing to base it on other than my own experience. So I don't want to offend anybody um, at all. This again, my opinion. Um, but I do, I see what you're saying. You know, I do. And I don't know, like, do you think addiction is mental illness? So I know a lot of people do. And if you, that definitely I can see, because I do think she's an addict. I feel like some people are more susceptible to becoming addicts because some people just have more addictive personalities. Um, and and it, it, it can also be from, you know, poor mental health, um, not having the willpower to say no to doing certain things. Um, I think we see that with her, her use of food and edibles and things like that. Um, yeah, I, I definitely feel like she is, um, she's struggling with, with many things. Um, not that I'm, not that I'm a Chantal apologist, please don't get me wrong. <laughs> she is, <laughs> she's a disgusting human being and poor mental health is not an excuse to be a horrible human being. Um, I just, I also do strongly think that, you know, she's not well. She, I think she, um, had many many issues before she even took her first drink and her first drug um and uh you can be a, an addict without being mentally ill i mean i was an addict but i'm not i've not got an addictive nature which is strange <laughs> but it just i just liked it too much and i got oh, yeah. I know being an addict can also make you mentally ill. You yes, know, it, it, can. Does change, it can. It does change the chemicals in your brains. And so, yeah, there is that for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, I think Chantel's addicted to excess. Yes, definitely. And, and the moment and living in the moment. Uh, because yesterday, what she was all this is the last Nash today. No, no, no. It's because tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, yesterday, she wasn't wanting a Nash like she was today. But now today came around and she was wanting it again. She fell yeah. back into that. Uh, See, I think, I think that goes back to the whole willpower thing I was talking about. She is, she's lacking in that. Like she, she may have the want and the desire to change as far as like her eating habits and stuff, but she doesn't have the willpower to like hold on to that and actually follow through. Yeah. Hey everybody. I just want to say hi. Am I crackling? Hi. No, no, I don't, I don't hear any crackling. Nope. Well, that's good. And I do have my little mini mic or whatever it is coming from Amazon. Uh, hope it gets here tomorrow. Yay. Well, no, maybe people would rather me not be on here. So there you go. Why is but that? I love everybody. We love you. you, we, oh, you yeah. Be, uh, You're wonderful. You You're always here. so nice and positive and absolutely. Um, I was just picking up what um, Greeny Bluish was saying about she's addicted to response. I like that one, Greeny Bluish. Yeah, yeah, an immediate response, not a response of being on a, a on a health kick and and over a few months seeing the benefit very slightly. You know, she wants it now today, so she's addicted mm -hmm. to a response, quick response. 
Yeah, she is. And she's also, I think she prides herself on being um, kind of like a shock jock, you know, like she wants to say the most shocking thing, um, you know, to get a reaction. And I think that's where the whole gay thing is coming from, too. Like she's she she makes an effort to be as revolting as she possibly can. And she knows that that's going to bug a lot of people. So that's why she says it. Uh, same with like using the R word and stuff like that. Well, when she was trying not to be revolting, but she was anyway, because that's what she is as a person. Now she's got the label of it, like the lol cow and a pig and a slob and uh, all the other words. Um, now she's running with it because it's convenient and it brings in views. And it also serves a little bit to her nature of being, as you said, shock. She likes to shock. She does. She really does. Like that's that's her brand. She wants to be as disgusting and revolting and shocking as she possibly can. She thinks it's cute. She said it before. She thinks it's funny when people are grossed out by her. Okay, I want to ask a question and this is to anybody who actually has a, a channel because I have not read Terms of Service. But I'm going with Uncut Gems, Nancy P's uh, thing that she just uh, super chat. I want to know what she's doing with the money she's getting from the Bogus Postcard Club. Is that against terms of service if you promise something and then you don't follow through? Yeah, it would be because okay. there's no follow through because you're you're taking money in exchange. So you have to provide what you exchange those monies for. So if I'm getting monies for postcards, I have to send them out in a reasonable amount of time. And she is far past a reasonable amount Absolutely. of time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wasn't so that on Patreon, though? I thought that was a Patreon tier. No, she has two it tiers on YouTube. Oh, okay. Okay. And has she got people in postcard tier of her membership? I thought she didn't. She but does. Like, ask, one yeah. of them is Ashley Lamborghini. Oh, God, yeah, of course, yeah. The the Holy Trinity, I'm sure, is there. Mm-hmm. Oh, and well. God, as a Well, they won't be bothered about her sending her anything, will they? The Holy Trinity just, you know, chaps me to no end. But anyway. Well, I mean, you can always call them the Unholy Trinity. Thank you, the that amp chick. I will. That's what I'm going to start doing right now. Hey, CM Cakes. Hey, everybody. That's just getting in. Smash that like button for me. Did she ever get the cheap? No, she hasn't got. She hasn't mailed out the camera for um. Was it K? Bay Nation. Hasn't, yeah, Bay Nation. K from Bay Nation Noor. As she mailed out whatever Ashley Lambo was supposed to go. And that's that's almost two months now. Well, well over six weeks. This has been going on because she came back early April. And she was supposed to do it right away. And she has every single day. She brings it up for every well, other the, day. It's the same as the Beezer show. Was it the um, case of the Mondays? That fell on its ass, didn't it? Before it even got off the ground. Yeah, exactly. Acts like she has no time in the world with having the most time practically of all of us. Well, she says Every in the day. in the moment because the moment then, oh yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to bring in a new camera and a uh, ca character and we're going to have this great script that's written. She'll say that and the next day where she should start working on it, it isn't convenient. It, she doesn't feel the same as she did the day before because the day of having to do something has come around. She can't be bothered yes, to do but it. Even, even if she thinks of it and she says, I'm going to do it in 10 minutes, when the 10 minutes comes around, she doesn't even do it. I mean, she does nothing. No, yeah. she, has, she has no follow through whatsoever. And I just want to say, Ray Ray, if you're out there in the chat, love you, sweetie. Yeah, we all love Ray Ray around here. We all love Ray Ray. We do. That's for so, sure. We do, we do, we do, we do. I want to give you a big cuddle, but I'm so far away. I know. So, <laughs> no. 
But um, so this weekend, do you think she's going to be with Nada? Because what's her face is going away, Dee Dee. One hundred percent. Even if Dee Dee was there, she'd still be with Nada this weekend. We all know it. <laughs> yeah, but in the last thing, she said her car wasn't working. Monty, did you? figure out anything about her car when you heard it heard anything i don't hear any differences with her car um yesterday or the day before a week ago or two weeks ago it seems like there is problems but it's not as if what she is talking about so i don't know i think she might be making up an excuse to maybe see him but act like she doesn't have transportation if you know what i mean oh even if a wheel fell off or and the engine was completely dead smoke coming out of it she'd still drive to see him <laughs> she'd, be, she'd figure something out yes you're right natural ginger yeah and she'd I, get an uber or something and also hippie your your mic is um crackling okay i'm crackling again okay love y'all i'm leaving i don't know what the deal is my mic is coming in from amazon tomorrow love y'all all right bye bye, bye, hippie. bye. yeah so my um Maybe she should get another oil change. Maybe get it looked at, serviced. She still does have warranty on it. But then again, her warranty is most likely void if they look at her oil change schedule. Yeah, but it's mm -hmm. crazy. She wants to get an apartment. Like, go get a new car. How about that? You know, instead of getting an extra apartment, I don't know. Only no. a few circumstances have I ever seen a person have a car that they're still paying on and have to get another one. One of those circumstances was when somebody totaled their vehicle, but they let their insurance lapse. So the insurance wasn't going to cover it. So they had to get another car. Can you imagine? And then not only have to pay for two cars, then you got to pay like a, the crazy amount in insurance because you got into an accident when you were not insured. But, you know, some people pay it. Yeah, so well, she's got to find the money, hasn't she, too? Yeah, well, she has the means per se to um, get the money, Twitch, sleep streams, doing whatever, watch parties, YouTube, her second channel, OnlyFans, but she yeah. just not doesn't want to do the work. She doesn't want to hustle. Did she, does she get money for, well, should word it differently. Did she get any money, do you think, for her sleep stream? I have not checked that out, but I'm sure people are tuning in. So, yes, she she got money. It's just how much did she get? Right. In fact, I should actually plug in her Twitch link on Social Blade and see what comes up. I thought it was against terms of service to stream on YouTube and on Twitch. You can stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I believe it's against Twitch's terms of service, or is it YouTube? One of them says you can't do that, but you can sleep stream on Twitch. Oh, okay. The sleep stream. I can't see the point of that, really. I really don't. Why do people watch it? I'm with you. I don't get it at all. It's not as though she's some sexy young ingenue who lying there in a lovely teddy and that and in a beautiful bed it's like i don't know what it's like actually i can't think of a, a simile to say i, just I don't mean understand it. i mean i don't understand why people are watching her like awake content like it's it's just as boring as watching her sleep and hell she probably farts less too yeah i mean i found her content I've never said really, really taxing recently. And I've, I've just taken a few days off. Well, perhaps not even a few days, like a day and a half or something. I didn't see any of it because it was so painful to watch. Not that she was doing anything in particular egregious. It was just, I just couldn't, I just can't watch it. It's And the eating, I know Monty mutes it and fast forwards it. And he sings, and he meows over her singing. Oh, there's just, it's just, just unbearable to watch now. And it is deathly boring it really is yeah i don't i don't get it i really don't but you know i guess to each their own maybe people watch because they because she does have the shock value they're waiting for that shock you know what i mean 
I mean, I had been watching her um, to like have a healthy outlet for my anger, but like she's not even making me angry like she used to anymore. It's just I I'm starting to care less and less every day, and I just ugh. ugh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I've been feeling like that. I've been feeling like that too, and I, I don't think we're the only ones that are feeling like that. What Sagittarius uh, Shardy up to? I have no idea what Saji is up to. I wonder if she's still with her crush. Yeah, getting it in and saying that they're celebrate. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, have you heard maybe from she is. Mama Scrunch? Uh, no, I haven't heard anything from Mama Scrunch ever since she had her surgery that was successful. So maybe I'll uh, message her and then see what's up. I know she's going to be busy. That's what she said. Yeah, she's, she's a hard to... worker. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's got a lot going on in her life, hasn't she? But you haven't had any emails or anything or a letter, actual letter in the post? Oh, no, you won't know your address. No, maybe. no, no. But actually, I mean, um, Dragon Lord Photo could um, mail me because my uh, my P.O. Box address is public. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm. Monty, do you think she will get Pete's own apartment? No. <laughs> no, not now. Especially with the money going, to... mind you, even if a money halves, she's still on ten, eight grand a month. But that as apartments, I think housing in Canada is expensive, isn't it? In that area, yeah, it's rapidly getting expensive, especially in Ottawa. Back in the day, Cornwall was a spot where you could get a house for a good price. Uh, Hawkesbury, uh, Alexandria, and any of those Castlemaine, any of those areas in and around there, you could get a house uh, fairly inexpensive, but not these days. Montreal, Ottawa, um, like Greater Toronto area, all these places, you cannot find a house for cheap anymore. You got to go way out. I don't think, I think her and Pete's will remain in the luxury villa for as long as she's stuck on Nada. And the way that she will move again is if she ever gets in a relationship with another man, a proper relationship, and goes to live with him. And she might take Pete's along with her. It depends how cool new, yeah. the new fellow is. But as long as she's um, still stuck on Nada and going back and forth, she's going to be staying where she is because she's going to be spending most of her money on, on Nada <laughs> and traveling to another that's why yeah for sure yeah all her money will be uh well spent on natty daddy and his needs well i don't how does it work mommy because in the states if you owe taxes um it is put on your credit so it's it actually brings your credit score way down so is could she even get a place like i don't know how that works where you live um she could but yeah that's the other thing um credit isn't that great the only th way i think she could get a house or a flat or a, a department we mm -hmm. call them flats here uh, is if she buys it outright in her own name no mortgages yeah. no bank loans or anything like that and the only way that she'll move out of the villa if her and pete get another place or she moves in with a new man uh, and he puts his name on it, I think. I don't think she's got the... I don't think she's in the in a position to rent or buy somewhere in her own name, is she? I don't think. Unless no. she's got hun about a, un a couple of hundred thousand pounds where she could buy out flat. I think. But I think they'll be in the villa for a long time yet. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there's um, no way she's investing any money in anything. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I was, I was looking at a place called Gaspe. I brought this up before. Our homes were super inexpensive there. Um, but it seems like a lot of people with money are going to Gaspe for like the summertime. I know I'm seeing million dollar homes in Gaspe. I never saw that before. It's incredible how things change. Because I used to see homes for like ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in Gaspe. Now I'm seeing homes for like 
790,000, 520,000. I'm like, that is incredible, the difference time makes. And gas pays practically middle of nowhere. It's beautiful if you visit there, but I mean, in wintertime, it's it's brutally harsh. But yeah. What's, what's wrong with Greeny Bluish in the chat? Is she okay? She said that somebody was trying to break in. Yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Call the police, Greeny Bluish. I think she probably will do. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, hopefully she's okay and can come back in the chat. But um what can I say? Like homes, home prices are skyrocketing these days, coupled with so many other things. It's gonna be hard for a lot of people to survive. I know it's the same here over here as well. It's Everyone. unbelievable it's how everything. much things cost. Yeah, I know. It's it's I feel bad for um you know, the generation, because I'm a teacher and, you know, I have two kids and I, I just always think about them because I don't know how they're going to afford anything. I just, I don't know. It's bad. Yeah, it is. I don't know how people afford it, actually, these days. It's, uh... Yeah, what used to be debt that could take you possibly all your life to pay off no, really is definitely going to take you all your life to pay off. Yeah, beyond death. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's going to be like a multi-generational debt is what um, housing costs are going to be now. So, you know, your your parents will take on the debt for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And then after that, you take it on mm -hmm. for another, you know, couple of decades until it's all paid off. That's what it seems that's happening right now. Can you actually get yeah. anything for 200,000 pounds in Ottawa? Well, if you're saying pounds, then we're going to double that. So about 400,000 Canadian. You can. Yeah. Maybe not in like proper Ottawa, but yeah, even in prop in, yeah, in Orleans where she is, yeah, you could get a house for 400K. But better get it now than later. Because if you get it later, that 400K. Is not going to get you what you can get now. No, it's not. It's not. I think that's why a lot of people are turning towards the tiny house movement because it's, you know, it's affordable, not only in um, the down payment of it or the building of it, but also the the monthly bills and stuff are way cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do like the tiny houses, I must admit. I need to I do too. to put all my shoes and handbags. <laughs> yeah. I could fill a tiny house as my wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love a tiny house, but um, I do not have a tiny husband, so <laughs> that's ruled out for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have the same issue. My husband is so tall, he like, he almost hits the doorways, you know, when he walks in the, just a regular sized door. So, yeah, I agree. Oh, I love tall men. Oh, I love Tolman. Oh, I love <laughs> him too. So <laughs> it's great. Like they can reach stuff. It's it's yeah. very handy. <laughs> they, they just look so good as well. And oh, and they make you feel smaller. And, <laughs> and, they, and they're just ma magnificent specimens when you get a tall man. Yes. 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 Tiny houses are nice. Not. Not. Just another Vegas doll. So I couldn't read that then. My glasses were sliding off my face. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, plus tiny houses are less to clean too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For sure. As a mom, that's always a plus for me. Less mess, less to clean. Mm -hmm. Chantal should get a tiny house. Oh, <laughs> that, that okay. Was, that would be... Uh, can you imagine a tiny house filled with garbage brimming? It takes the cats, the boxes, and which well, hasn't got much else in the house. Oh, and the fruit flies. That's like fat guy in a little coat times a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like her trying to live in a car now. Mm -hmm. I saw a clip of her. I don't know who it was. I apologize. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. Is somebody put a clip up today of um her walking up the stairs? Oh my goodness, she was uh, she was a mess. I saw a clip of that, her in 
where she recently tried on that sequin dress, you know, the red one with the yes. gold one that changes. It's like an ombre, isn't it? It changes colour. And it was so, oh, it was because it was all red around her bust. And then right underneath that, it changed colour. It totally cut her in half. And it was like a sausage skin too. I was like, oh, she's going to wear that to her date. But she didn't. Yeah, that's why I don't I don't believe the weight at all. Um, I mean, I obviously we know she lies, but the proof is just in the clothes. You see the clothes are just not fitting her at all. You know, they're not. And it's her belly. I think somebody in chat said that it's the belly that's really getting big and her face too. like the one side seems to be getting bigger. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, is it's. It it's that, oh, sorry. Carry on. Oh, I was just going to say it's it's quite obvious that she's having hormonal issues with her hair loss and the stomach fat. Like, I mean, she's a big woman, so she's going to have stomach fat. But like it, when it's excessive in the in the midsection like that on women, it's usually a hormonal problem. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. It's bloated. Yeah, because if she's if she's really fat there, I bet she is bloated underneath as well. Um or oh, dis it's like distended belly, isn't it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It I'd have to see it in the flesh, you know, see her in real life to really get a good uh well, I don't know. I don't know whether I I'll never ever going to see her in real life, let's face it. But, but yeah, that, Euro bees, natural ginger. Oh, which comes over here. Yeah. <laughs> At least you'll smell her long before you see her, so uh, she could come and sleep on my settee. I take I take her on sites of Edinburgh, all those narrow hilly streets and stairs. She'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I've never seen. Mm, I don't want to be horrible. Well, okay, I'll say I've never seen anybody that fat in Scotland, and it hasn't got a great. Uh, I mean, the it, the diet in Scotland is notorious for not being very good, but I've never seen anybody that fat in Scotland or England, actually, not in real life, anyway. Wait a second, Atra Ginger. Um, have you ever seen somebody get? You know, the actor that has the two slices by you know where his his mouth is. What's that called again? A Glasgow. Is it a? Is it called a Glasgow smile? What is? What is it called again? Yeah, Glasgow smile. You ever seen anybody with those? Glasgow smile. Yeah, aka a Chelsea smile, or a uh, Cheshire grin, a, no, a buck fifty, a Highton, a Chelsea. No, I haven't. What's that all about? I, when, they, when they when they uh, put char when they put a you know uh, they slice the 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 sides of your lip all the way back, kind of oh, like Joker. Right, right. I, no, I've never seen that. No, I've never really. Seen that. No. Okay. No. How about if they uh, stick the stuff up your booty so every time you have to go to the washroom, you know, it reminds you of them. It's like, it takes a long time <laughs> to heal. <laughs> Why are you I'm laughing? Not. It's a serious question. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy Flanagan has it. Yes, exactly. No, All right. I've lived a sheltered life. Well, not really, <laughs> but I've not seen anything like that. No. Yeah, you know, um, I knew somebody from from uh, Edinburgh, but they also was from Glasgow, and they were like, "Yeah, I used to see that all the time," and they're like, "You better, you better not put on your fake, uh, what was it, my my ring?" But it was a stonemason's ring. I don't know. <laughs> I got I got this prop stonemason's ring, and I I put it on. They're like, "What you doing with that?" What you doing with that? Don't you see if you if you ever went to Edinburgh or Glasgow and they saw you with that shit, half the people would kick your ass, half the people would be kissing your ass. <laughs> they just made me laugh so hard. Kissing airs. In yeah, arse, kissing yes. airs. Yeah, they'd be like, they'd be kissing your arse. <laughs> or they'd be kicking your arse. <laughs> or scalping your backside. Right? I just showed the way. ring. <laughs> I either get an ass kissing or ass kicking. Either one. <laughs> Well, yes, uh, I've never really been, I have been to Glasgow, but I've never really, I don't really know people from Glasgow, so maybe it is a more of a Glaswegian thing. I think not, I, I've just, uh, I, 
Edinburgh's got a different culture. But you do. Mm-hmm. It, it, a Glasgow like... kiss is a headbutt. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know we... the bar etiquette when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stutter. It's stutter in the heat. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, Edinburgh is very pretty, but Chantel couldn't walk around it because it, it's it's just well she could but only on the main street and then that's it but i don't think she'll euro bees i don't think she'll come to england uh england or scotland or wales or anything because you can't uh buy uh weed here it's not legal unfortunately <laughs> she'll go somewhere where she can uh get the weed yeah, and where would that be? Natural ginger. Um, Portugal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I don't. I don't know where it. Um, I don't know where it's legal in in Europe, actually. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to do some googling then. Amsterdam, there we go. Yeah, Amsterdam. yeah. I was there gonna say go. Amsterdam, Amsterdam, <laughs> Spain, Portugal. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody in the states always gets the layover in Amsterdam, so they can. Uh, although in the states now, a lot of states are it's become illegal, you know, which is just not everywhere yet. Oh, I thought it was just decriminalized in uh, Holland. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it has been for years. You've always you always could go over there and get your stuff, but. Mm. No, I don't. They should make it. They should do what they do in Canada, in Britain. They really should. Which is what legalize the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Would, that would make Everything. sense. I don't know whether they will, but I think it's. I think it's just a matter of time. Like the dominoes are going to keep falling, and it's it's going to be like gay marriage. Um, yeah, it's just it's yeah. just a matter of time before it's all legal. Mm-hmm. It should be. It should. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if they're letting, you know, if your country or your state or wherever you live has McDonald's and Burger King and all those fast foods, then you might as well put the, you know, let people smoke weed. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, cigarettes and alcohol are illegal and they're, yeah. you know, yeah. they're the mainstay of the economy, especially in Scotland with all the whiskey and everything. And the thing about, you know, marijuana is that, I mean, it has been proven to help with a lot of um, medical, you know, reasons that people need oh, it. Yeah. yeah, so. Absolutely. Even down to, like, um, PMSing, it can help with that. Like, yeah. there's, or, like, you've got a really bad migraine, it can help with that. Like, it's, 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 it's. I think that's one of the main reasons why uh, it's being fought against so much um, by big pharma, because, you know, like you're not you're not going to rush out and buy, you know, whatever pill because you've got this like I'm not going to say cure all because it's not a cure all, but it it does treat various things. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can, yeah, it's, it's like a, it's a good medicine from nature, which yeah. has been has been repressed by big farmer economy back years and years ago probably about 100 years ago now uh uh industry came in wanting to make pharmaceuticals and make and make money and suppress the actual use of weed because they couldn't make money from it but uh, cuz it was legal wasn't it 100 years ago in the 20s and in the 1900s things like that probably even in the 30s and then it all stopped yeah true natural ginger very true so yeah we shall see if booty beauty comes back on because she said she was going to come back on right away because her stream singing and driving was to be demonetized uh for the most part um well she's not so she only makes money from super chats on those streams then does she yeah yeah so that's why many times she never really cared 
if um her what happened to her streams because the uh the adsense money was only secondary she really was trying to get the super chats and super stickers which was piling in come november december january but then boom it slowed down is it do you get paid this weekend or no we don't get paid on weekends um if the payday hits a saturday or sunday then you get paid the following monday but monday is a holiday for me in canada so i will get paid the tuesday now jarella uh talking in the chat um like i said i, I wasn't trying to say it is a cure-all and nobody is condoning like overuse of thc we're just saying that there are applications where it can be used rather than other pharmaceuticals um yeah, that's 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 all we're trying to say. And yeah. yeah, obviously not everything from nature is, you know, good for you. Like there are poisonous plants and stuff out there. Nobody's saying that everything from nature is better. Uh, that's that's not what we're getting at. Yeah. And I know like I have a very addictive personality, so I won't do marijuana. But because I don't know, it's like I think people should just have the choice. Like it's their you know, their choice. They know who they are, if they can handle it or not. So I agree. Yeah, there are people that, that abuse it just like anything, but people abuse food and people abuse money and shopping, but we can still do those things. If you happen to have a problem with it, then, you know, you can get help or be aware of it. Exactly. It's freedom. It's freedom as a human being. Who's, which government should tell you who we elect? Who should, why should they tell us what we can and cannot have? Should be able to have it. And it is good. It's not for everybody, but the majority of people can help a lot. MS, headaches. Oh, it's every. It's a lot of things. And it's yeah. Just, it's just the pharmaceutical industry that have tried to push it. It's, oh, it's bad. It's this. It's that. But all the side effects of all the pharmaceuticals that have been manufactured that make loads of cash. That's what. Uh, that's what they're wanting to push, and we all know what what's happened there don't we with the, the big opioid crisis and things like that mm -hmm. so anyway we'll see just hope britain gets it just sees it sees how good it could be and it would make the money as well yeah it would be I a am, big money maker for britain I <laughs> I am all for things that improve people's quality of life, whether that's a certain medication or some THC or some CBD or what have you. Like, I, I'm all for it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I do see, I, I know I see people in the chat. and Yeah, just like anything there can be people that abuse it. So hundred percent. And we do have to look at it that way, you know, obviously. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have, you've got to, yeah. you've got to make the, a good choice. You've got to make an informed choice, but you are a human and you should be able to have a say what goes in and out of your body. For me, if it is, yeah. I've, it just means that I will be able to take it and maybe I can cut down on the pharmaceutical painkillers that I have to take all day, to, all day. And, maybe get a good sleep at night that's all i'd use it for i wouldn't be you know all the time or, in, or certainly driving with it and things like that i'd be because it knocks me out and so i'd just be at home in my slippers and my nighty and mm. have a little bit and then that's me that's all i want it for but i don't want to be going out and buying it from drug dealers you know mm -hmm. yeah right I'm sure that argument has been used a million times. <laughs> no, it's valid, though. It's very valid. I, I feel similarly about um, sex work. Like it, exactly. it needs to be yeah. it needs to be legalized so it's safer. I mean, it's it's not going to go away. It's it's the oldest profession. <laughs> like it's it's still going to be around. But let's let's you know legalize it and and regulate it and make sure that everybody doing it truly wants to be doing it and um, people mm -hmm. are safe about it. Yeah, if people want to do it, do it. No, make, there's no point in making them a criminal. I mean, yeah. what's the point well, in making people a criminal? Yeah, especially be the people that you know get it 
that are it's it's not fair. We we see the people that were put in jail for it, and they were of a certain, you know, race and and um, socioeconomic, and and that's not right. Yeah, or people being arrested for having for growing weed and that because they've got MS. Excuse me, it happens here. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah. Hello, no, it... Lady Ravenshaw. Hello. Hi. I just wanted to pop in and say hi and that I'm so happy that you not everybody but that most everybody you know gets the whole thing in regards to cannabis and other things that society I guess deems as being very taboo but then when you look at other different cultures or different nationalities or different places across you know, the earth and the vast differences. You you can see where there's a lot of things that are not so taboo as anymore. And that, you know, it can be talked about in a healthy, safe manner. So Yeah, it's good. It's it's good to lay your cards on the table and be rational about it and say, Yeah, these are the pitfalls, but these are the games. And we well, yeah. Know when how we've been given the wrong propaganda about things to try and turn us into thinking things are bad when they're really not. Badly if you get down benefits. to the bare minimum of it, prescription medication is no more than a drug too. As well, it alters the state and the state that you're in. Some of these drugs are because you choose not to change. You know, mm -hmm. di type two diabetes, hypertension, things like that. You're abusing prescription medication because you don't want to change your diet. Okay, so mm -hmm. how is that any different from me, you know, instead of yelling at my children or not using correct coping skills when I clearly am at my limit for the day because no, nobody's going to, there's no, your limit changes every day, every moment sometimes on what you can and cannot take or receive from the world. And if you yourself struggle, you know, for, with any mental health Sometimes your limits are not that good. And sometimes your coping skills are not that good. And sometimes you have other coping skills in place to help you with the co the first coping skills that you try to use <laughs> that, that's not working for that particular day. You know, it's like your plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you keep going down the list, right? Me stepping, you know, somebody stepping outside for me taking a, a you know, quote unquote, a break. So I don't make a mistake in my parenting skills and, punish my child, you know, for something very insignificant, because at that time, I'm so overstimulated by whatever the case may be, you know? Yeah, we get it. Yeah, we get it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of people in the chat are agreeing that uh, everything has its place. And we should have a choice to have a choice. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. So um, what's there to talk about after this? Uh, the last time we saw Natty Daddy was, I guess, 20 hours ago. Yeah. Let's try it this way. He uh, he was on for three over three hours. He's been doing these crazy long streams lately. Yeah. Where he cooks, he oh. eats, and then he hangs out right after. I'm like, OMG, it's like three hours. Then before that, nearly four hours. Then before that, three hours, 19 minutes. Before that, two hours, 32. It's like, OMG, these are so unnecessarily long. And is he getting many super chats? Or don't, you don't study it too much? Uh, no, he's not really getting anything. Ever since the whole fallout with the mods and everything, he has, he has not been getting... Uh, the the EDBD type of stuff he was getting before. So in just days, not weeks, but just days, we went from I'm gonna get married, possibly wedding dress and own hotel room. Oh no, wait, no, we gotta go back further than that. Some type of custody agreement, right? So some type of custody agreement. Then we had a a, a lover's spat or a triple or thruple spat. Then we had a possible marriage arc and then a um moving 
but we still don't know about that. Now we're to uh, they've split up and it's peaceful. Is is that the consensus? Or yeah. oh, magical is... thinking. I think I don't know whether it's changed, Lady Ravenshaw, since she went on RSN and Internet T gave her a few home truths, and she maybe gone away and thought about it and well, raged at Nadder, and he's told her to get lost. And well, so... all I have to say is I'm going to rage and start crying and have my heart broken if my favorite soap opera is ending with really bad writing. I mean, <laughs> if this is how it's going to end, I was hopeful for the whole, like, marriage, scamming, conspiracy theory, slash, you know, all that. And now it's like, oh, we're friends and we're just not going to see each other. And I know, and I learned my lesson and, and I got this new person now. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? Well, I was hoping for the wedding too, because that would be brilliant. But it, it's peaks and troughs with this uh, soap opera. And we're in a trough at the moment. And hope there will be more Nada drama in the future. 100%. And I can, and I can see um, a health arc coming soon. A health drama. That will Ooh, be you, soon. You think so? Uh, maybe in the autumn. After I was kind of hoping for an eviction drama or something, possibly. Because <laughs> yeah, I seriously yes. thought that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everything oh. might be coming in due time. Eviction, marriage, uh, no health care, hospital really ear visit. It. Yeah, Pete's, Pete's really freaking the F out because he's getting worse, that guy. He is. He is. He's spiraling for sure. So I'm, I'm just surprised. curious. Is so she was really into doing, you know, some hardcore stuff, and so was Natter last year. And are it just seems pretty odd that it just went away. Like she just magically stopped, and so did he, and they don't do it anymore. And or is she just learned her lesson about streaming when she does do it? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think she's sloppy and she's going to get caught in time with all that stuff again. Just like how she was caught with the yeah. barbecue a week ago. By the 100%. Night. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree too. I yeah. Yeah, I so... wanted to get caught um, DUI because she drives high all <sighs> the time. And That'd be so takes... awesome. You better get yeah. caught before she hurts somebody because that's yeah. going to be <sighs> horrific. Mm -hmm. There are responsible people and then there are irresponsible people that give the responsible people bad names. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah. not just, it's not just driving high. I mean, yeah, driving high. But she's all, she also drives when she's raging. She also drives when she's reading her chat. She just, somebody, today, reading her chat while she was driving. So, yeah, it's, 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 she's doing so many things. Yeah, she was. She was. I saw that. She does, yeah. So it, it's things like that that put other people in danger. And also the cats as well. That really pisses me off. Did you guys see Sam when he, he got up on the, the countertop and one of the, I don't know, she's been streaming so much here lately that my head's is spinning anymore on what day is what. But one of the ones where it was the full like kitchen counter kind of view and Sam had gotten up there and you can just see his hair so matted and thick and oh, my heart sunk. Yeah, she really, really, really needs to brush them. And I, I, yeah. I think even if she attempted to brush them now, it would be too naughty and she'd give up. Yeah, I haven't seen... Doggy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen um, Sam's matted fur, but I did see BBJ almost slip and fall off the counter because it, it was wet and she laughed at it like it was funny. Like, haha, my cat almost got hurt because I'm a slob. Like, no, that's not funny. 
And uh, wasn't BBJ eating the chocolate cake? I missed that. I, it was just something I heard. Yeah, the- I just did too. Is that true? I don't know. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. That she was, she left the chocolate cake that she was her grandmother's whatever nonsense that was. And uh, BBJ was eating it. Oh, it's so. And, and she, oh, that was something she was saying today, wasn't it? That she was going to get tuna steaks and draw BB happy birthday on, on the top of the tuna steaks with cat treats or something. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. They could do Pining the- over some freaking guy in your kitchen, wanning, wah, wah, why it was your grandmother's first. Just. Oh. Your family. Mm. People that care about you and you're willing to throw away people that care about you for somebody who makes fun of you. Makes fun of you. You're, you're going to choose that person over people who actually care about you and your well-being as a person. Mm. Yeah. So we don't know what's going to happen. This weekend, she's going to be up in the fields with Nadi. Yeah. Um, will the car break down on the way to Lachine? That could be quite good. Is she covered by the... Oh, you don't have the AA, do you? But... By breakdown or anything like that? I oh, we do know. have the AA. We have oh, the CAA. Have the AA, yeah. yeah, because there's triple A, which is you know, for Americans, but it's CAA for Canadians. Right. But I don't think she has that. Or did she have it? I think she did, but then she stopped paying. Mm-hmm. I think that's what she said. I can't remember. Or oh, she might go there and cook her some raw chicken and... Make a hospitalizer with salmonella so, or something. <laughs> is Natter going with with Dee Dee away, or is Natter by himself? Natter is by himself. Yeah, I think the story is nah. spending time with girlfriends. Wait, but is it? Isn't that one other chick supposed to be down the twentieth, the weekend of the twentieth, or something like that? Twenty fourth, and that's uh, oh. that is Shalane Gypsy. What if that's not the day she's actually coming down? What if they're, she's coming down this weekend? Oh, yeah? To do what? There's a D- if, if Didi's not there and he's got Chantal, like, booted out in a way, like, if if indeed, truly, sh- he really was just like, I'm just done. This is just too much. You know, we're we're absolutely just done. Because that's the way she's been moping, is that everything is completely done and she has to accept it, right? what if he got this other one to come down early for a little bit meet and greet at, you know, at well, Didi's place while she's not there? Yeah, I guess so. Anything's possible, but uh, Chilean Gypsy has been saying she's going to come ever since, like, November. <laughs> I don't know what the angle is. Um, all I'm going to say is whatever Yeah, happens. but there's been no, like, really good enough time, and this would be the perfect time. Didi's gone. Didi's, you know, the, you know, the housewife. She's not gonna care. Oh, MD's you know? Gone. So somebody She's gonna be to like, sure. Somebody else is gonna soil Didi's purple mattress? Well, why not? She's so got the house spot. <laughs> right? Somebody <laughs> soiling Didi's purple bed again. Oh, the insult of it all. <laughs> Well, it doesn't sound like she's insulted by it, so it's not really an insult. She doesn't care. She got the top spot. She's, you know, she's the housewife. You know, everybody, all the other girls are just going to be beneath her at this point, and that could be the way that she's thinking of it. That's why she doesn't care. She got the top spot. She won out. She beat them all. So next week when it's payday, Chantel's going to be fawning over him again, mooning and buying a wedding dress and wearing it on live streams. That could be a good story arc. <laughs> if if Chantal right. is delusional as we are, as you know, the consensus is, that could be the basis of it. DD1, she's so delusional that she thinks, oh no, she's in the top spot. She's the one that's going to win. I, she got the engagement ring. She'll get the wedding dress, this and that. Mm-hmm. You know, see, what, there's all Nikki? these possibilities. 
Oh, go ahead, natural ginger. No, it's fine. No, I was gonna say anything important. All I was gonna say is I'll just box in a wedding dress. That's not important. So well, it's quite funny. It's quite a funny thought. <laughs> it is. So, what kind of wedding dress should I box in? Is my uh, next statement. But you can go ahead. <laughs> say what you gotta say. It's gotta have a a, a, a fish tail skirt. Yeah. And a uh, a sweetheart neckline and a Ooh. and a, a, a very long ham colored veil. <laughs> mm, okay, I like that. I'm sweetheart corset, mini skirt, truffle, or what are they called? The what are what are those? Wow, oh, tool, tool, a tool, like a li like yeah. a little ballerina. There you go. That's what I'm going for. Uh, uh, fish, white fish set uh, stockings. Yes, and roller That's skates. Oh yeah. Okay. No, well, I don't want roller Monty skates. to be those hurt. Ones that you put on your sneakers. We're going to have to do a vote. Soon it's going to either be the Daisy Dukes in the tube top or, you know, the uh, the marina. Or we're going to be doing it in a wedding dress. See, I think like a skater style dress, you know, that that like shorter kind of cut. But then also like some white Doc Martens so you can still stomp some ass. I don't know. Right. I like the sound of that. Jenny T says, Minty, please do in the wedding dress. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna have uh, something ham colored, definitely, as a, a motif. I will. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be really cool if you can get it to do a whole bunch of different mashups, like SFG and Charlie Gold versus ARL and Chantal, and um, like uh, Nick Avocado versus Chantal or something. Come on, G. <laughs> Yeah. Just do like a whole girl girl world, you know, SmackDown universe. Right. You know, yeah. like they did with like celebrity. You remember back in the day, Celebrity Deathmatch? I don't know if anybody used to watch that on MTV. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So just like that, but have it do like a YouTube style. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Great, great game. What are what are you saying? Are you are, are you trying to call Monty fat? He doesn't have a tummy to hide. <laughs> Wait, I didn't say anything like that. Wait, what? Uh, no, great game is like princess cut with train hide the tummy. Hide the oh. tummy. So what sort of uh, wedding dress do you think Chantal would get? It would be a tent, wouldn't it? With a, a big oh, sash around the we, middle. We went over this the other day. We were Cinderella. saying blue lines, empire, ball gown. I had mermaid. Like mermaid. Yeah. I had mermaid. She's going to do the whole squeeze in a shop sausage case yeah she have uh, a bunch of dead oh, I don't know what would she have in her bouquet gnashes and pickles maybe some gnashes maybe some I don't know some like uh, chicken legs you know, <laughs> drumsticks, drumsticks an onion ring wedding okay. band right instead of throwing rice everybody just throws cat litter <laughs> <Yeah>. oh <laughs> Straight from her cat litter tray to no, <laughs> I don't want to get sick. No, what is it that she hates with a passion? It's some sort of <gasps> seed, wasn't it? Quinoa. Quinoa, yeah. We can oh, do quinoa. Oh, for the catering, we can do the best recipes of Natter for catering. Yeah. Chicken spatchcock for the wedding breakfast. <laughs> we can do carrot meatloaf, zucchini and carrot meatloaf. Oh, some raw potatoes. Yeah, so there you go, Lady Ravenshaw. There's lots of possibilities for your uh, favorite soap. It's not ending. We're going into season 14 now, are we? Because we're hitting the summer. I keep trying to tell her she needs to hire me as her writer. Like, seriously, we need to make some of this stuff happen. Ah, just imagine the money she can make from all of this. Why doesn't she, like, take everybody's ideas and run with them? She could make millions off of the ideas. It's free. I <laughs> mean, she's getting hurt. these ideas for free. I mean, seriously. Yeah. She, she yeah. won't do it because effort. That's... that's that's just how it is. If it takes time or dedication, not that's not Chantal. 
Yeah. Oh, that's just... oh, that's right. Because it takes her hours to do her bees and right. So what men are not going to understand that, right? Because <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just hours to bees, right? It's her craft, you know. <laughs> and she does pockle ideas from the reaction community as well because. She was saying something about, oh, I'm starfish this and starfish that. I'm going to get a starfish tattoo. I was like, hey, hang on a minute. That comes from us. And you say you don't watch uh, channels, reaction channels. She does. And she reads Kiwi Farms. For sure. Practice makes perfect. And she practices her craft a lot. So she's very well, well versed in it. Oh, she's saying that now that she wants to be a boss bitch, she really wants to step into the role of being a boss. She is. She's a boss lazy bitch. She practices that role daily, uh, for hourly. So she is. That's what you give her the credit that she's due, everybody. She really is a boss lazy bitch. She really is. She's perfected that role. There's not, there's not many people I know that can do that. Oh, a Patrick Star tattoo. Ah. Yeah. She just posted about, I guess, Dee Dee Lou's playing Mario Kart with her. But, you know, it's just a troll, Dee Dee Lou. As the oh, name. Man. Yeah, because she's Mario Karting. And she posted the friend code so they can Mario Kart. Okay, cool. Mm. At least that's something that Pete wants to play. Remember the days when they used to actively do that all the time? Those were better days for Pete's. Mm -hmm. You remember the days of recorded videos? Mm -hmm. (gasps) Without all the burping and the nose picking and the the breathing. Yeah. Those were better days. What can we say? But, you know. When uh, she used to do again. the time warps, when she dressed yeah. up as Madonna that time. And she, oh, she no, the, the flapper lunch. one. <laughs> Remember when she did the flapper? I like that one, actually, believe yeah, it I or like, not. I, I like the one where she were, she wore that bit long red wig, and it was the it the title was Eating Like the Titanic, which I thought was a crazy title. <laughs> like the Titanic <laughs> is an The Titanic doesn't eat. But anyway, but it was good. She made she actually made some stuff that they ate on the Titanic, and uh, and Pete served it. Remember when Pete was in it and he was the serving man and everything? That was funny. Those were, I like the time warps. They were absolutely dreadful and so hammy acting wise. Um, I would even go back to the bad mukbangs. You know, just eat. Those were so much better. They, oh. It's so just. Bleh. She could make so much money if she went back to doing th- uh, time warps again. I mean, even, even people would watch time warp video if she yeah. really wanted to stick on like quote unquote feeder content or get into you know the BBW world and stuff like that. Like, I guess what infuriates me the most is that. She has all these claims to I'm this, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. Don't, you know, snipe me. Don't do this. Don't do that. I'm a creator. Da, da, da. Literally, she's pimping herself out for free. Because everything that she's doing, she could be monetizing. Period. The the farting, the burping, that's all theater content. She could be on OnlyFans doing that or another platform doing that and making money off of it. But no, she's, she's pimping herself out for free. It's really like seriously? You... Okay. All right. It it makes yeah. no sense. It really it makes no sense. Everything that she does, she could be monetizing and making so much money from it. Mm-hmm. She could, mm-hmm. yeah. But even if she did one every fortnight, every two weeks, um a time warp, something like that. It's eating, she gets she likes to dress up. And things like that. And we could all laugh about how terrible the research was and how she got all the facts wrong. And it would be good fun. She would make money on that. But uh, she can turn all her. 
all her streams can be turned into being monetized, you know, like the cleaning and stuff like that. She can do that in some little sexy outfit or something like that. Then she can get on YouTube on her main channel like she is now and put up a live and be like, OK, I did this, this, this and that. If you want to go view that content, go here, here and here, because people will still pay to see her live feeds. She doesn't have to give what she did in that for free in a way she can just direct people to other platforms where they can pay to view it. You know? Yeah, true. Yeah, you know, people are going to be making fun of her anyways uh, on things like she, wh wh what did she say in one of her lives about Nanner that you should just lean into it, right? You should just like take it for what it is. Take your own advice, lean into it, make money off of it. Mm, I hope she continues to be stupid and just fades into obscurity. I, even if she went back to doing the time warps as, as enjoyable as they were at the time, just knowing how incredibly vile she is now, I wouldn't be able to enjoy them. She's not going to do it, though. She's not. D don't worry about it, Arctic. She won't do it. May she do maybe one, like she did one episode of the Beezer show thing. Nonsense that was. Uh, I think she's lost her mojo okay. anyway for um, making video, actual videos. But if she goes back to being boring, okay, on her main channel, she got her YouTube channel back. So if she goes back to being boring and do does all her other stuff on different platforms where other people would have to pay for it, reaction channels would kind of taper off of, of showcasing her like they have pretty much a lot for Amber to as well because there's there's nothing really to react to no drama no nothing if she's not talking about her weight if she's not talking about nan or if she's you know just using it as a marketing platform from that point forward and kind of like redoing it and going back to you know pre-recorded videos and stuff like that she can build a different type of base and then reaction channels could fade away from there for the most part because there's no content for them to to react to if she doesn't talk about anything yeah but i and i think people need some of the people in the audience are saying you know with the pandemic you know kind of coming to an end you know she got a lot of views during the pandemic people were home so now people are going back to work they're going back to their lives vacations parties friends and also uh, we talked about the economy earlier people don't have the money you know and we're we're kind of being a little I mean, at least i am i'm being a lot more careful what i'm spending my money on because my gas bill has gone up my um food bill has gone up you know and i think all of this is affecting her and her and like you said her content is boring and people oh, are like so I'm not, yeah it's so boring and so people boring. just don't have the money or the energy um to want to watch anymore yeah i think it's definitely both I mean, if it's so boring and if you there's, you know, still people that, you know, are still working from home and, you know, can listen or if they are returning back to work and stuff like that, if they can still listen, they're not because it's 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 incredibly. It's just so boring. It is so boring to answer Bella Wolf's question. I think it is both. I think the economy and people are pig sick of her. That's yeah, why the super chats are going down because she yeah. has been absolutely dreadful this last year. She has, especially really that bad. that Cuba rage. Like that in and of itself is enough for people to cancel her. I know she she even uh, got dumped by Sandy and Ange after that. I commend them for that because they saw how she really was, and they were a lot of people felt like that and just was like, uh oh. I mean, it's about. It's about time. Like there's, I've gotten to know several people in this community and there are so many like caring and forgiving people out there. Like the fact that she's turned so many of us against her, that says something. It really it does, does. does. Yeah, it does. It does. Cause she, it is, she is so amazing, but not in a good way at all in the most, in the worst way. Uh, it is almost. Oh, sorry, never mind. I keep interrupting you. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I, I, I've come to an end of what I was saying. Oh, I've forgotten it again. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, go on. 
<laughs> sorry, ADHD. Sorry, I was trying to piggyback off of what uh, Amchik had said that you know it, it seems like even like her trolls now are are not her trolls, but even like her loyal people like her trinity or, or her you know her holy trinity or whatever are, are just trolls at this point you know just keep being who you are you know just keep doing what you're you know it, it just seems like people just don't even care anymore and even the ones that quote unquote do care are just trying to get her to do the bad stuff anyways mm -hmm. I don't really honestly that very much uh, but I've heard that um that she's getting slammed in the chat a lot these days and she's just not mm -hmm. reading it and not saying anything. She's just ignoring yeah. it. And I, I firmly believe that her unholy trinity, they are trolls and they always have been. They're just enabling her and watching her spiral. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I, I don't think as, maybe one of them is, maybe one, but I don't think Ashley Lambeau is uh, sincere, should we say. Yeah, I think so as well. There's a lot to be learned about Ashley Lambo. Lots of stuff I've heard that I can't really say in the chat, but yeah, I totally agree with that. Uh, great game acts which gets her more money. Super chats or AdSense? These days it's the AdSense. Before it was the Super Chats, but Super Chats have dried up and whatnot. So we're now seeing that the AdSense is really keeping her afloat. Um, not really sure what's gonna happen with that, but she's still she if you look at her her um views, they're still good for what she does. She does nothing, all she does is turn a camera on and goes about her day. That's it. So other than that, we, we shall see. But um, I think we might wrap this up right now. I'm gonna come back on later, do another Monday after dark for the people who are west coasting. So natural ginger, if you have any last words or anything. Well, We'll just see what happens this weekend because something always seems to go off boil at the weekend in the most boring way and the most annoying way. So we'll see. So thank you, panel. Thank you, chat. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, for sure. Natural Jerry, I know it's pretty late for you, so I guess I'll see you another time. Somebody says that the memberships are keeping her afloat. Yeah, that too. The tiered memberships are also keeping her afloat. Uh, who else do we have here? Amchik. Yeah. Um... Uh, again, if, if you've got that link handy, Monty, I just want to remind everybody about Ray Ray's GoFundMe. Um, Ray Ray is one of the sweetest people I have ever met, and she's she's really going through it medically, you guys. So if you have anything to spare, please send it her way or share. Um, if you can't donate, uh, either way, that it greatly helps. And also, thank you for having me again, Monty. You're welcome. Uh, thank you all as well, Lady Ravenshaw. I'm not sure Ginger just stepped off. Perfectly perfect. Any last words? I uh, just wanted to thank everybody again. You know, I love how we can come here and um, express our opinions. And, you know, we're all willing to listen to each other. You know, we, we might not always agree, um, but we're always all respectful to each other. So, Monty, I want to thank you for you know, making that happen on your channel. And thank you again for having us. No problem. Anytime I'll be on later. Of course, it's still pretty early. And thank you, everybody, for being here. Remember uh, the GoFundMe for Ray Ray. And I'll see you another time. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good Friday and long weekend if you're celebrating. <music>